there is nothing sadder than seeing two best friends and co-stars of a show. We recently saw it go down between Mike Wall, Frank Fritz from the American Pickers, but before them, a similar scene unfolded between Ed China and Mike Brewer, who were the co-hosts of Wheeler's Dealers. China and Brewer shot a fame at the same time as they were partnered up to host Wheeler's Dealers for the first time in 2003. The show got so famous that after 13 seasons, Discovery Channel decided to make big changes for the show to cater to their American and their international audience in general by putting the original British series in their Velocity Network. The big change included a lot of small changes, including the creative direction of the show's content, something that China couldn't bring himself to go along with. Thus, he decided to quit the show in 2017, after 13 seasons and more than 13 years. You would think it would not involve any toxicity between China and the show, let alone him and Brewer had worked together for all those years and seemed to have become great friends. China certainly made it sound like there was no bad blood with Brewer or Wheeler's Dealers when addressing his farewell. Wheeler's Dealer is a great car show and have millions of viewers across the globe with only growing numbers. Making the show's no easy task requires a dedicated number of people, he first said. He did seem to sound a little hostile as he continued. It was exactly the worldwide popularity and sheer size of audience coupled with the lack of brand endorsements and product placements within the show that the Discovery Channel and Velocity teams saw an opportunity to further exploitation of the brand. He stated that the decision of the executives led to creative differences against him as they wanted to give less time to his intricate and detailed mechanic work and wanted him to simplify it for the average Joe. The detailed in-depth coverage of my fixes in the workshop, what I consider to be the backbone of USP of the program, for something Velocity feels should be reduced. Ed wrote in the YouTube video description where he addressed his exit. He did understand the show's financial reasoning behind the understanding admitted. The workshop jobs are certainly the hardest part of the show to make and reducing their assistance and rolling the show will save the production considerable time, effort, and therefore money. However, this new direction is not something I'm comfortable with as I feel the corner that was being asked to cut compromised the quality of my work and would erode my integrity as well as that of the show, so I've come to the conclusion that my only option is to let Velocity get on with it without me. He had to say that he still couldn't agree to it. However, when Mike Brewer 2 got a chance to address China's exit from the show and video, shortly after, he painted a completely different story, claiming some bad things about his former co-host. He did some very bad things, Brewer claimed. When he did some very bad things, it meant that Discovery Channel just couldn't work with him. So they gave him the option to leave, and he took it. He wanted to go off and do another show anyway, and I'm waiting for his new show to appear. I think we all are, he added. Brewer even went as far as to compare him to his replacement, and Anstead calling the latter a real mechanic and accusing China of letting fame get to his head and acting high and mighty whilst still being a part of the show. Brewer's comments seem not to sit well with the fans, especially since the ones who have been watching the show for a long time now, China to be a humble man of show's quality has degraded greatly since China's exit and the show's move to America. They've accused the show of being Americanized and as a result also accused Brewer of being a sellout and traitor to China. But some people went too far and even made death threats to Brewer and his family. When China heard of this directly from Brewer over the phone, he immediately took to his YouTube channel to denounce such acts. He said it was really not cool after assuring fans that he and Brewer will continue to become friends in the future. So the former co-host's fight seems to be a little passive-aggressive at the moment, but it does seem to exist nevertheless.